Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Let me address you real quick, my son. It's my son, lefty, gun up in the right palm. Popping niggas in their sleep so they die calm. Kill up be kill. That's the shit that I'm on. It's desperado style. Shoot on that upside arm. I'm gone. You mean up? Shut up. Now. I listen to your little rap, right? What you chastising Troy Ave? For sending Banger on a dummy mission. And Trife got nerve enough to be mad at me when Vlad just sat up there and called him out. He sent them on a dummy mission. He was a doja. You calling Troy Av out as you should. But what a hypocrite. So let me take you back. He up, we up, bring it back, come rewind. Let's rewind back to when me and you had some words. And you tagged Trife Gangster on your post on Instagram, which sparked the beef between me and Trife Gangster. When he started talking slick on Instagram, and I took it to my big stage YouTube. Shall we begin? Now, in today's time, Trife feeling some type of way. And he talking like he gonna make the same mistake that his brother made. So my question to you, my son, is that when Banger's mother and Trife's mother have to put that black dress on all over again, what are you gonna say to Trife's mother when he's laying right next to his brother Because you didn't sit up there and tell Trife Yo listen Trife This nigga not just an internet nigga I done spoke to Xavier Williams I know X done told you You done spoke to Eric Bennett on the phone Even from the penitentiary And I know he done told you Dudes in the street That's affiliated with me That's affiliated with you From Bronx River Done told you So you know what type of time I'm on in real life. And Banger's running around in his mind thinking because he's lifting weights that he's going to run down and be the same doja his brother was because the beef ain't between me and Trife. Now, I tried to be nice and squash it, but see me, I bully the bullies. That's for one. For two, I'm from the Bronx. And we got a complex when it comes to Brooklyn niggas thinking that they're going to walk over the Bronx. So what my, my question to you is, what are you going to say to Trife's mother when we finally run into each other and he realized that I'm on the same type of time that tax stone is on? I don't believe in losing. What are you going to say to Trife's mother? I don't see you sitting out here saying, yo, Trife, that dude really a good dude and, and y'all need to squash that beef. Nah, you sparked that beef between two Muslim brothers. You let it ignite and then you don't moved in the cut. You won't even mention my name except for about once or twice. You moved in the cut. You're not trying to handle your beef with me and you definitely not even trying to handle it. You're not even going to handle it on the same level as me and Trife is where it's going to go. You just moved away like it's not even your problem. But then you got the audacity to call Troy Ave out for what he did with Banga. Well, you just did the same thing with me and Trife. Hit him in the head with the, huh? Yeah, what, it, what, what, what hypocrisy. What hypocrisy. And see, let me kill two birds with one stone. Trife, I don't know who told you what. I'm personally feeling some type of way. The fact that Casanova and Tax Stone was in the street because both of them, they, they should have been co-defendants in that case. Casanova was with Tax Stone, throwing niggas off of Tax Stone. If it's on, it's on. You seen Casanova face to face and didn't do nothing. 
So you think that when you see me, you just going to have your way with me? Yeah, right. It is what it is, man. As a matter of fact, it's 723, man. I'll be going live at 9 o'clock as soon as I upload this video. I'm going to eat me some food. And I'm going to talk my talk at 9 o'clock. I'm going live. It is what it is. That's my take on this topic. What a, what, 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 what a hypocrite. You got so much to say. My son, you got so much to say about Troy Ave and his court case and his rap songs. But America's on the brink of Armageddon. America's on the brink of World War III. And America is on the brink of food shortage. And America is getting ready to go through the dollar, uh, uh, the, the, the collapse of the dollar bill. But we can't get you to talk on things that, that's meaningful. You talking about street beef. You talking about gossip. You talking about rap lyrics. Wasn't just last year y'all running around with picket signs screaming, we shall overcome. No justice, no peace, no races, police. What happened to the picket signs? I mean, after all, the kids are still dying in the streets of America, right? The penitentiary is the new plantation and it's being filled up with young black children, right? You decided to get silent now? When we on the brink of World War III, our soldiers is in the penitentiary and our good children, instead of going co to college, they're about to be draft picked, hand picked to, the, to go to war with North Korea, with China, with Russia. And mentally, you're not preparing the kids and the parents for what's going on. You'd rather sit up there and attack Troy Ave. It is what it is, man. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Because they smile in your face all the while they want to take your place. Them backstabbers, man. I'm out.